this is question 1.3. Uh, this is technical math, uh, grade 12, paper 1 content. Okay, we will um, discuss this question over here. All right, uh, we're back with quick math. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with anyone doing math, pure math, technical math. Um, they will benefit from this video. Okay, um, a while back, I made a video on literal equations uh, for grade 10 content. It is similar to this. So I'm going to share this in the grade 12 playlist as well as the grade 10 playlist, grade 12 technical math playlist. Okay, so um, a lot of this information is not really relevant to you. Okay, when you're dealing with this question, the only part that's important is this thing over here. So that's the only thing we're going to look at. Now the question does tell us that L has to be the subject of the formula. And what that means is you want L alone. Okay, some things that you will need to notice is as you read the question is that um let's get here quickly this fr thing that is a variable on its own right so that is a f like this with a subscript r okay uh, that, that tells you what it is over there but it is one variable it's the f the subscript uh, r just defines the f that we are using okay don't worry too much about all of that okay so we need l to be the subject so first thing i'm going to do is just read out what you have there you have this f with a subscript r uh, that equals 1 divided by 2 pi and then we, we have the square root and we have this l c over there so okay this is a c let's just write it nice so that we can differentiate between the l and the c so what you want is you want the l to be on its own all right so i'm just going to highlight this l you want that to be on its own so what we're going to start with is getting rid of uh, this 2 pi over there. Okay, this 2 pi, which is in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply this with 2 pi over here, over 1. If I do it on the one side, I have to do it on the other side. So this side I'm also multiplying with. Uh, let's just give ourselves some nice space here. We're also multiplying this with 2 pi on the side. Okay, so now what you have on your left-hand side is you have 2 pi that f with a subscript r equals so now on your right hand side this 2 pi and that 2 pi cancel each other out what do you have on top on top is just the one at the bottom is this square root l c okay um, the next thing that i'm going to do right um, my variable l c or the, in fact the l it is in the denominator so now the thing that i'm going to do pay attention to this here is one term on our left hand side, here's one term on the right hand side. So what I'm going to do now, I can only do if there's one term on both sides, okay? If there was like plus one there, then I can't do what I'm about to do. But because there's one term on both sides, I can do what I'm going to do. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just make note of the fact that there is a, a invisible one there. Because there's one term on both sides, I'm going to take reciprocals on both sides. So I'm going to flip this around, but I have to flip this one around as well. Okay, this left-hand side is bothering me there. Flip that as well. Okay, so now let's try this again. So because we are taking reciprocals on both sides, our left-hand side, we have 1 divided by the 2 pi with your f subscript r. Right? And on your right-hand side, your square root of lc and this is divided by one i'm gonna put it there because it's invisible i'm putting it in our our um, other color okay uh, next you want to get rid of the square root so the square root that is over here you want to get rid of that how are you going to get rid of that you're going to square both sides okay so the square and the square root will cancel each other out so on our right hand side you only have your lc on your left hand side you have your fraction squared okay so your fraction squared the one is going to be squared one is going to stay one the two is going to get squared that's going to be four almost wrote a two that's going to be four pi is going to be squared that's going to be pi squared and f r is going to get squared so f r is also squared okay we could have if you wanted to um, we could have left that square we could have left it like that okay with your square still on the outside but let's um, square everything. Now we want to get rid of our C, so we're going to divide both sides with C. Okay, so our left-hand side, we are going to divide with C. Um, okay, I'm running out of space here. We're going to divide this one also with C. Okay, let me take this away. 
okay and i want to divide with c now the reason i'm writing it like that and i'm not saying this whole thing divided by c is because if i did that it would just look very confusing so i'm going to divide with c i'm writing it like this uh, so that the simplification in the next step is going to look easier so my c's cancel out on my right hand side so on the right hand side i only have the l which is what i wanted right on my left hand side now i have this one divided by four four pi squared um f r also squared and if i divide with c now we know c is over one there dividing with a fraction is the same as multiplying with its reciprocal so i'm going to multiply with a one over c so now it's easy for me to understand that, that c is also going to join the stuff at the bottom okay so now i'm going to write down my final answer i'm going to write my final answer um, i want my my subject of the formula my l i want on my left hand side so i'll put l over here and this will equal to one multiplies with one so my numerator is going to just stay one in my denominator i've got the four i've got the pi squared i've got the f subscript r squared and i have that c okay so there l is my subject the next part of the question is just going to be substitution all right so you're going to go and you're going to put the c value which, you, which they give you they're going to put that fr value which they give you uh, into this uh, formula so that value is going to that uh, variable is going to get a value this variable is going to get a value and the rest is calculator work all right so i'm not going to do that substitution for you but i've done the um, subject of the formula for you